Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to a brand new amazing Doctor Who topic video for today. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything I have brought from Comic-Con over the last two days. So basically yesterday and today. Now, I've had a, such a great experience. I've met the actor that played basically William Shakespeare from Series 3, Episode 2, Gridlock. And of course, he signed my remastered of the Blu-ray, as you can see here. And of course, he actually has pull it down saying, William, I am, which is absolutely brilliant. All the hairy chest. <laughs> I He was absolutely brilliant. He was honestly absolutely brilliant. It was my first time meeting him and I've managed to meet a star who is, was in actual Doctor Who, which is absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I, do, I did get him to sign that. But over the last two days, I bought a lot of Doctor Who merch over the Comic-Con period. So... As you, of course, you all know that I brought the Jodie Whittaker co Complete Collection Years Blu-ray box set. So, I just kind of pulled that up to kind of show you, because I've already did a video on that one. So, I kind of want to show you, basically, everything else I brought. So, I've actually brought more Doctor Who figures today than I did yesterday. So, if you remember from yesterday, that I brought the Asylum of the Daleks set here. And I've also brought the Keeper of Traken figure set. I've also brought more figures today, so I'm going to show you basically what I've brought from today and show you my whole new Doctor Who figures before you see them in my fantastic action figure reviews that will be coming out over the next couple of weeks. Well, over the next week, hopefully, and there will be one every day, starting off with the Keeper Tracking set and then, of course, carrying on. So I did buy some more Doctor Who merch, including something I picked up from Big Finish, but not just a CD, but unfortunately, it's not a CD, I got a vinyl, and of course, it is Old Friends, which is from the Knife Doctor Adventures, and of course, it has the Brigadier and the Knife Doctor teaming up to defeat the Cybermen, so I cannot wait to dive into this, to listen to this one, and give it a good review for you all, I'm actually quite looking forward to it, and I love the fact how we have the return of a Mondasian Cyberman, and with Christopher Eccleston's Ninth Doctor. So that will be a review coming up. So I'm going to show you the rest of my Doctor Who figures that I got from Comic Con. So, and I've also brought a te little teddy. So for £12, I brought a little teddy of the Fourth Doctor from Season 18. Absolutely brilliant. So I wasn't expecting to buy him, but... There's just something about my favourite Doctor, and this is actually knitted by the people that sell them, and it was absolutely brilliant, so yeah, I had to get it. So, figure number one I brought, and this was actually £65, and it, of course, it was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive back in the day. It is a regenerated fifth Doctor in the outfit of the fourth Doctor. So yeah, I'm actually quite looking forward to doing this action figure review, as it is the fifth Doctor wearing Tom Baker's outfit, and... Again, I it's actually quite good to have this in my collection. I always like to try and do my own regeneration figures until I can actually try and buy them. And I haven't actually had a season 18 Tom spare. I've only got the one that you know of, which is this one here. So it's absolutely brilliant that I managed to get my hands on a regenerated fifth Doctor in Tom Baker's outfit. And that's not the only one I've brought because I've also got the Cash Valva set. Which comes with a, another regeneration figure for Peter Davison, but he's not wearing the coat. And of course, it comes with the Master's TARDIS and a little mini person that the Master's shrunk. So that is also another figure set I own. So I've got two figures from the first story of the Fifth Doctor, aka Castro Valva. And of course, that was £90. And then I brought myself some other figures. One that I kind of wanted to get yesterday, but I couldn't make my mind on what one I got it. So... I've got it today. So, and it is Perry and Mr. Sill from Adventures on Varos. And of course, it's in the original Doctor Who packaging with the classic logo, with the basically the revival logo. So, yeah, I do have that one in the collection as well, which is honestly absolutely brilliant and amazing and just fantastic. I'm actually quite happy because one, I get to carry on building up my sixth Doctor shelf. So, I've got another Perry variant, but I've got Sill. I absolutely do love Sil. So the fact I got this is absolutely brilliant. Honestly, it's absolutely flipping fantastic. So I'm going to move them down in a minute because I did get some other big sets. So the other one I got today was, of course, one that was £120. It is the fourth Doctor from Sharda. So it's the fourth Doctor and the TARDIS from Sharda. 
absolutely a cracking amazing story so it is absolutely brilliant that i managed to get my hands on this tardis set it was the only one that i was missing in my collection don't ask me how i was missing it because it never came available here in shropshire so the fact i've actually managed to get my hands on the shard set was absolutely brilliant honestly a flat out amazing it really is absolutely flat out amazing and then of course it's just brilliant and then i kind of picked up another modern doctor who figure for basic the for, for basic the next doctor aka played by shooty gatwa that's too big for me to fit in so for 18 pounds i picked up the space babies variant of 15 so now i've got two 15th doctors in my collection which is honestly absolutely brilliant so yeah i do have basically that one in my collection as well so this video is kind of literally like a quick sort of video because i am going to be doing action figure reviews for these and i am going to be taking these out of the box after i finish this video just so i can put them into my collection because i've got such a big collection i've got to rearrange it now which is absolutely brilliant absolutely fantastic so i just want to do a quick video talking about these new holes i brought these brand new doctor who action figures and they are, i'm really looking forward to placing them into the collection the fifth doctor's got some more new two new variants i mean the sixth doctor has now got a story to go into his era i've got two tom baker variants and of course a matt smith set so i've got basically two tom bakers two peter davison's one Colin Baker, one Matt Smith, and one, aka Shooty Gatwa figure, as well as the complete uh, Jodie Whittaker series, and of course Doctor Who, old for old friends on vinyl record, as is absolutely brilliant, and of course this little Teddy of the Fourth Doctor, which will be placed on the shelf above the season eighteen box set, hopefully, because he's actually knitted him wearing his season eighteen outfit. But yeah, that's oh, he's foul yeah that, so that's basically it for this video i just kind of wanted to do a quick video basically showing off these figures that i'm absolutely so proud of to own i am taking these out of the box i'm putting them into my collection just because i it's it really is a hassle keeping everything in boxes because it just makes up more space so if you take them out of the boxes you've got more space but i'm actually happy because now i've got two tardises for the master which is absolutely brilliant so i just need to try and get my hands on a Anthony Ainley figure to go with his own TARDIS. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and share. And join me for more awesome Doctor Who content.